Zach Sang and the Gang, right now in the studio. Yo. My yo, friends, yo, 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 R5, hello. What's up? How's it going, man? Look at, the, look at this face. What? The face of Ross. How what? are you? I'm good. I'm really good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I thought you were going to be like, look at this face. You look like you haven't slept in four hours. And I'm like, because <laughs> I haven't. That is the truth. Yeah. Can okay. So, what was your schedule like? How long have you been up for? We uh, I woke up at four. We, we woke yeah. up at four. Yeah, yeah, I was supposed to yeah. wake up at three thirty, but something happened to my alarm, which has never happened before. And I Rocky came in my room. He's like, "Uh, right, are you gonna get up yeah. now?" Yeah. Like fifteen minutes before <laughs> we have to leave, I was like, "Crap! Oh my god!" And I was freaking out. Yeah, I was yeah, hectic. Now, why four a.m.? We're, 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 we just did a bunch we're of promoting food. our uh, concert event that's going to be in theaters on April sixteenth. R five all, all day, day all night. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. yeah, we're totally excited. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Super, super excited. It's, it's actually, like, really, really cool. We got to screen it the other night, and it was awesome. It's awesome. Like, if you're an RFI fan, or even if you're not an RFI fan, you just need to go see it because it's sweet. Yeah, it's and it's only sweet. one night, so April 16th is the only, sh- only chance you have to see it. Okay, like, let's talk, like, life right now. Like, that's <laughs> crazy. I know, right? Like, that's yeah. insane. And I was just talking to you... Th- one of the guys who works here, his daughter's going, and he freaked oh, out cool. that you guys are going to be here because she's <laughs> so excited, you know, uh, about, it's like a docu-series, or like a documentary. Yeah, yeah. so it's like uh, it's half just... documentary, half concert film. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Like, you, Dancing with the Stars, new album, hit single, going on tour this summer, you have a documentary concert film. Your life is on another level. <laughs> it's, it's pretty crazy. crazy. It's pretty crazy. Going on. Like say. that's a good life. Thanks. I mean, do you uh, do you sit back at all and reflect on where you were to where you've come? Definitely. Oh yeah, all the time. I, I feel like we don't even have time. We haven't had time to reflect on it yet. In, really? In yeah. the moment, you like don't realize there's so much going on and everything happens so quick. But then. You know, in a month, we're going to be like, oh, my gosh, like, we just had a movie come out. That's really cool. That's yeah. I'm looking so, myself on the Actually, I, it has, I don't think it has fully sunk It hasn't fully there's sunk a movie I think when we sit in the movie theater and we see our faces blowing up. With like, the popcorn. And the popcorn <laughs> we eat <laughs> is going to be. Thing. Oh, yeah. I'm getting hit. popcorn and an ice. I'm down. Oh, my God. I'm and getting some, there early because I want to see the previews. It's all about the previews. That's the most important part. You don't care about your own No, it's about the previews. still the previews. No, which is kind of cool, too, because, you know, we're in the, like, the pre previews. Oh yeah, we're in previews now. Oh, yeah, really? yeah, for yeah, all so day. If you go to the movie theater and you go before the previews, I like you regal see the cinemas. Preview. It has what? to be a certain cinema. That's really cool. Yeah. Yes, it is. We've been trying to go see a movie, but we haven't had time because we, we <laughs> yeah. want to see the preview. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But so, what were you doing at 4 a.m. this morning? Why did you have to be up that early? We were doing a bunch we're of literally uh, sat uh, in a TV. room. Yeah, it was really? us. It was and satellite TV satellite tour. Yeah, satellite tour. That's what we stayed in a room, which is cool. It's the future of the future of doing interviews. Yeah, never having to look. At a, another uh, crappy interviewer's <laughs> face again. Hey, I didn't. It wasn't my favorite. I'll no, be no, I like being able to. It's have weird it, with you know. the human interaction, right? You, you don't. It's only in your ears, right? right? Yeah. Wearing like right. an IFB yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. So, I had so a cute awkward. little pink earbud. I yeah. felt like a secret agent, kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or like or like a news anchor, like well, yeah. this. Oh, hold on a second. This, this just in. Did you hear that, Kenny? Yeah. Who's Kenny? I don't know. Uh, that's all right. Yeah. That was a very like like informal anchor name. Yeah, Kenny. How's Austin and Allie? It's good, man. We've got two episodes left, and then we're done forever. Is that, like, that's surreal, that's so isn't it? Sad. It's super surreal. Just because it's, dude, it's consumed my life, yeah. basically, for the last four years. Do you feel synonymous with that character? You have Synonymous? Like um, yeah, in certain ways. Yeah. A little bit. Like, you know, we both, like, have a big passion for music and, and certain things here and there. Cause, and I also feel like I created him. Yeah, yeah. exactly. In a way or another. Um, but I also feel like... Very different, but uh, you know what I'm scared of? I'm scared what? that I got into habits with Austin, and I so I gotta kind of like break him when I go to an, other acting jobs. I was thinking about really? that recently. Yeah, yeah. I mean that right. that must be. Sc- I mean, you've been playing Austin for so long, right? Going, doing another role. That's yeah. a little frightening, a little bit. Uh, no, I wouldn't say frightening. Yeah, but I'd be. be I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be extra cautious of uh-huh. the choices that I make on my next project. Really? Probably. Yeah. What What goes to your mind when you're picking your next project? Oh uh, well, you there's mean already acting choices. Acting choices, yeah. yeah, like like in a script. Um, but like there's already like projects being lined up right now. But yeah. honestly, it'd be nice to do like guest starring roles, just to kind of like get out there and just yeah learn more. We were watching uh, YouTube videos and the Teen Beach movie. Two commercial came out. Oh, no. <laughs> awesome. Wait, which one was it? I was like, <laughs> when he's ur, 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 and he's going down the pole. Which one was it, Keith? You the were watching pole. it. I was looking over your shoulder. The pole. 
And he's so like, funny. and then he, and then he like, it's like, it's like, like <laughs> a vine. It's like a vine. Yeah. And then it like stops and he goes, <laughs> and he walks away. It's so funny. <laughs> great. It's, they're like, they're it like vines. Me, I watched it. I was like, yo, I got With watch like movie. techno music. That's, it's, oh, you that's would love cool. it. Like, what did you think of that project when they first presented it to you? When they first presented Teamish Movie? Yeah. I was like, sweet, I'm going to make a movie on a tropical island. <laughs> that was my first thought. <laughs> and, and we're coming yeah, with you. I was, I was like, like, sweet, I'll be there. But yeah. And <laughs> originally, <laughs> originally, my character wasn't very prominent in the film. Really? really? I was just kind of like Mac's boyfriend that was just kind of there. Um, but as it sort of developed, they kind of like sprinkled Pushed me you throughout the rest of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? A little more him. Yeah, no, I was Let's add him in this scene yeah. here. Yeah. So it, it worked out. Now, Austin and Hallie, huge part of your life. It's kind of, do you think Austin and Hallie, not responsible for the band, but it's kind of giving you guys some legs a little yeah. bit? Oh, yeah. You know? I definitely think it's helped towards our success for sure. But I also feel like we've been going at it for, for def- prior to Austin and Hallie, we were already a band. Yeah. And I feel like um, even if we didn't have Austin and Hallie, we would somehow figure out how to achieve the success we have now, probably. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I definitely think it was a yeah. good, like, it kind of just sped it up a little bit, you know. Yeah, yeah it cool. sped up the process. Even though it still has been like seven it's years, still, we like, still have the most no gradual speedy process there, yeah, about that's it. Very true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No but it might have taken all. like a good year. Yeah. So I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Was did you ever dream of having a concert film and having a hit single on the radio? At the I've same time, I've always dreamed of having a hit single on the radio. Yeah, the concert film has always been interesting because we've always had so much footage of like our upbringing yeah and I've always kind of wanted people to see that just because it's so it's entertaining yeah and it's adorable um, so yeah I've, I've always wanted people to see that but I've, we're the cutest yeah, <laughs> yeah. seriously the cutest babies I feel like yeah. a hit single on radio is more of a dream Expe- especially like one that we could really Benefit like from. no that okay. one that we crafted and like you know like how we write our songs in our garage we wrote this whole next yeah. record sometime last night pretty much in our garage really yeah yeah. Um, so like, them if one of those songs that we crafted and formed in our garage could somehow do that, that would be yeah, honestly for me the, the most. <laughs> yeah, that would be the most like. That's the that's surprising. like the, like the newspaper. Like, Zero yeah, one hundred. From the garage yeah. to the whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that rhymes I'll come garage. up with something real catchy yeah, yeah, and I'll yeah, put yeah, you yeah. to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now the current single, uh, mm-hmm. "Let's Not Be Alone Tonight." Was that written in the garage? No, that no, one no, was the no, studio no, no, no. one. That but that's still, one? that's just as exciting, though. Yeah, I mean, it's huge, and right. the song is phenomenal. Oh, thank, thank you. you. And I really like, we were watching the music video to Smile, and I think that song is great. And the music video was so well done. Oh, oh yeah, that, that was, was so, so cool. cool. That was the most fun video we've ever uh, yeah, done. Yeah, I was I super happy with that. Yeah, yeah and then Riker yeah. pulled it through with through. With her, I mean, you yeah. did too. He, but Riker had the first. Oh my gosh! He had to yeah. learn everything. Yeah. Like this gal, this gal. Like hearing him downstairs in the kitchen <laughs> was oh the funniest gosh. thing. You I need spent to like post. Two weeks to you need it. to post some because no. that is yeah. so funny. Sounds like you speak another language. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Okay, new album coming out. Yep. This is big. This is it right now. What mm-hmm. was that process like working in the garage, writing these songs? And what is what is your? Do you write together? Does somebody bring the lyrics to the table? Does somebody yeah. bring the melody? Yeah. What is? We, take me into your process. process. I think, no, this okay, is what I think starts. makes the garage so special. It's comfortable. Yeah. There's no sort of like. You're not. You're oh, not you're not trying to, to please anybody. You're not trying to like. You're not stuck. There. You know what I mean? You're not like. It's not like set up by anyone. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can you're leave just whenever in you there want together because you want to be there. Exactly. That's cool. Yeah. And so it's like, yours too. Yeah, yeah. We have our couch in there, you know, our thing. <laughs> yeah. I have my pirate flags mm-hmm. in there. Yeah. 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 So usually what would happen on like uh, I'm not going to give too much away just okay. cuz it's kind of like our our writing our writing thing, you know. It's our secrets. No. There's give a cool something. phrase about that. What's the phrase? It's it like, like it don't like, give up all your secrets, or else we won't have and, secrets. And no, oh. it was like number two, and it was like blank. I don't know. It's it, it was like yeah. a Banksy yeah, quote or something. About, yeah. Anyway, anyways, the, what usually things. happens is Rocky will sort of compose a production or a okay. song, and then Foundation. the rest of us will kind of come in and and yeah. just feel it out and go go from there and add everything. Like, yeah, yeah. Lyri- and the lineup then, changes per song. Like sometimes yeah. it's just Ross and Rocky. Sometimes I come in with them. Yeah. Sometimes it's the whole band. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's just Red L and us. Like mm-hmm. now, who knows? Is it personal for all of you when you're writing lyrics and you're bringing things to the table? I mean, every song is obviously a personal extension of who you are as a human being. Because mm-hmm. a lot of the, I mean, if you read into the songs, I mean, they're personal. Like they're really personal. I. Where are you going to in your mind and through your life to kind of bring out those experiences? Well, in in this particular record, the reason we called it Sometime Last Night was because usually the song's sort of inspirations came from the night prior to yeah. writing the song. 
or not not the exact night, but just thinking back, yeah. that they idea. Just happen. nights sometimes in general. Was, yeah. Sometimes exactly. it was the week before. Like sometimes it was yeah. the week before. The, not whatever, the last night was, we went out, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I basically I basically me personally, um, I've told myself that I work too much. Okay. And I need to have more fun with my life. Yeah. And I need to live while I'm young. So therefore I, he says yes to everything. I pretty much I said yes to everything, and I went out a lot. Yeah. You know, I Sleeps went out on Hollywood, and I <laughs> yeah, slept like Which two hours. Why admire you? I don't know. But how it you worked do out that. because I still, from the night prior, I mean, from the night, I had all this energy and all this like all these good times happening. So when I would wake up the next morning, I'd just find myself happier. I guess you could yeah. say, even though I didn't get as much sleep. Wow. Just just in that like short amount of time while writing the record. That's a pretty crazy life to live. Yeah, I went. Yeah, I don't know how you. I don't do. know I'm how like, I'm going to sleep. Honest. Peace yeah. out. Like, <laughs> I'm like having a hard time. Like six midnight. hours of sleep. That's yeah. well. That's exactly what I do, right? And I get it. Like I've I've personally gone through that whole thing, like the work play mm-hmm. relationship. Mm-hmm. How does it work out? How much do you work? How much do you play? Right now, I work. I don't play. And like I like I know right. where you were mentally in making mm-hmm. those decisions, and I kind of give you credit to, because not a lot of people do that. Not a lot of right. people say, "Okay, I'm cool with getting three hours of sleep at night so I can live some life that is outside of work." Right. What was your typical night like when you were making when you made um, that decision? It was different every time. I think that's what made yeah. made it so interesting, and that's what made me keep doing it because every time I did it, it was different. And I remember I'd be like, "Yo." El Ratliff, you gotta come with me just once. Just come with me. He had it a great was, time that night. It was super. Yeah, awesome. But where are you going? <laughs> we went to the I'm so going anywhere. He, he gets I like want. Like Go concerts. That's the thing. It's freedom. Yeah. Half of my half of my job, half of my life is people telling me what to do. People like, like exactly. in, in an acting world, the director's like, "Hey, so check out this. Do this. Maybe exactly. you know what I mean." So that when I do that, it's just freedom. I can yeah. just do whatever I want. That's why I like flying. That's why I like surfing. That's yeah. why I like hockey. Everything. All those things. All those activities just give me freedom. And it's you. You make your own decisions uh-huh. in that moment. Yeah. Does that suck about acting that somebody else is telling you what to do? Not necessarily, because it, it, the original idea of like a character is you. Yeah. And a director's just kind of elaborating on it and trying to make it better, kind of which is respectable. Yeah. Was it hard working in the Disney way, having them tell you what to do? No. What was hard about the Disney way is it's such a specific type of acting yeah. that's different than any other kind of acting, and to make it look good and realistic in that format is you have to be you have to believe it so much exactly to where other people believe it because there is so much energy and there's yeah. so many so much thought that goes into it does that style of acting not make you not make you frightened but a little nervous going into a new project i'm sure I've, it's I've thought different. about it yeah um i wouldn't say i'm like like scared about it or anything cuz i think teen beach movie is more on the side of like the single camera stuff exactly you know what i mean it's more about the sitcoms where it's like it's all about the beats and it's all about like and the laugh track. And the and laugh track like, and all yeah. that stuff, you know what I mean? It's a little bit more fabricated. Yeah. Interesting. Uh-huh. Interesting, you know, interesting. It's crazy as like a, just as, like, because we all dabbled in acting yeah. growing up. So, no, you know, he, he kind of, when, when he did this, when he started the gig a, a couple of years later, he, he found, he figured out the whole system the, of the multi-camera versus the single camera versus like a different channel. Like, it's fascinating to hear all these different you know, like terminology, terminology, or like even uh, styles, styles, yeah. uh, str- strategies, like mm-hmm. how to act in certain ways. It's like I had no, I, I had no idea. Oh, it, yeah. Is it? I mean, seriously, even if you, it's the same thing in music, right? Yeah. Like the longer you're doing something, the more you're kind of, you know, in that environment, mm-hmm. the more you learn. I can only imagine what you're learning on Dancing with the Stars, whether <laughs> oh, from oh, a, yeah. a, literally right? from a dancing perspective and then from a production perspective, it's because crazy. the way they shoot that oh, show, oh, production yeah. completely is different. Yeah, yeah, like, their production is out of control. I think they're in the camera movements and like just how everybody, I mean, everybody has to hit their stuff. Their crew. Otherwise, it's off. You know, oh, yeah. the crew. I Everybody mean, yeah. it's like finesse to it. it the, literally, the production's a dance. Yeah. You know, it really is. Walk me through that schedule. So, like, what is your week like on Dancing so, with the Stars? The week really, the, re- the week technically starts on Tuesday for Dancing with the Stars. Okay. So, Tuesday, you'll start. You know, After first day Monday of rehearsals. Show, you know. Okay. And you go in and you figure out what dance you're doing and what song you're doing, and you immediately start. It's roughly like five hours a day. Okay. Um, so do, t- do that Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, well, plus you have a Wednesday or Thursday. Interviews. You'll do right. like yeah, uh, one, like once or twice a week we'll do morning shows. So like okay. I did Access Hollywood yesterday. Wow. Um, Mon- uh, Wednesday or Thursday we'll do like the master interview. It's like an hour long interview of you talking about the week and last week and how you're how you're doing, what your challenges are, and all that stuff. Um, Saturday you'll do a wardrobe fitting. Okay. 
and Sunday you'll do camera blocking. Then Jeez. Monday you get there early. We'll do another rehearsal for camera blocking. Then we'll do a dress rehearsal. Then we'll do the live show. Oh my so god! Then Tuesday you start the, the whole thing over again. His call time on Monday is like. 8 a.m. or something, right? Yeah, it's not, nothing, nothing too crazy, but you know. But still, it's, it's, <laughs> what's funny is like, you know, I'm only, in, I only have to do one dance, and it's all of that work. But it's yeah, for all that whole week. But it's like when you get there on Monday, it's like the whole you're, you're, you're. I, it's not like I'm sitting in my trailer just hanging out. Like yeah. I'm moving and rehearsing or going to makeup, going to wardrobe. Dress rehearsal, like the whole time you're, I'm doing stuff. Yeah. I finish dress rehearsal, I'll come out and talk to these guys for five minutes, and then they go sit down. I get makeup touch ups, and the show starts. See, so really, filming a filming a movie is easier than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm seriously because you yeah. you show That's up on hard, set and man. you're almost your your whole responsibility, like filming a movie, is to know know your stuff. Obviously, you know the script, know your character, but also it's just to like hang out and make sure you can flip the switch into your character when they say action. Yeah. But other than that, you're just like chilling. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Standing on a beach, yeah. jumping uh, on the water. In a movie. <laughs> yeah. On a sitcom, you're up all the time. It's more like that. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. But on a movie, it's a little more chillaxed. I mean, Chill that away. schedule, what is that feeling like when that dance is done that week, when you have finished your routine? What is it's that like, feeling? I mean, there's two different ones. There's like where I, like where I finished the salsa, where I was like, I was loving it, and I was like, yeah, I nailed, nailed that it. one. Yeah. And then like last week of the tango, I was like, thank God that's over because it was so hard. How long are your rehearsals? Five hours every day. So I'll I'll go like that's like, I'll go like this. <laughs> you're, you're, I'm tired of just hearing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're like, like oh no way, like, no way, dude. No way so I here, so here's <laughs> my here's my I'm day. So right now. I'll wake what up. What happens in the five hours? I'll w- yeah. well, I'll, I'll wake up and I'll do like the, a morning morning show or, or morning radio interviews or yeah. whatever, and then I'll go to the studio with these guys, or okay. we're at the, we're in the garage working on lyrics or something. Okay. And then um, usually at around two p.m. I go to to the dance two or three go to this dance studio. Okay. And I'll be I'll be there till like seven or eight. I come home, finish up whatever lyrics are going, um, you know, whatever we're working on that day, and then do the same thing over again. Jeez. And when, when he got this gig, I was like, "Welcome to the party." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I was kidding. No, he has more on his plate right now than I do. <laughs> I mean, ser- because you've been juggling it for a while, doing Austin Alley, doing yeah. music, doing Teen Beach. Yeah. Advice? Did you give, you know, Riker advice at all? I nope, I didn't. No. I probably should have. I, I Good did. luck. Uh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm you. very yeah. familiar with the with the crazy schedules and, yeah. and shooting TV we're, shows, we're, we all just are. from yeah. Glee and whatnot. Yeah. Yes, but um, yeah, it's a it's definitely it's definitely a new thing. It's it's very crazy. I mean, watching the show, you you have no idea how hard it is. Yeah, I mean, because we just see the finished result, right. you yeah. know. And I feel like that's something that I think the world forgets about too sometimes. Is that we really do? We kind of just see the finished result, like mm-hmm. your right. album, yeah. your your doc, oh, totally. you, you, the, the concert film, and the documentary. Yeah, we just see the end result. We mm-hmm. just get entertained. We mm-hmm. never know what work goes yeah. into it. Mm-hmm. How long have you been working on this current album? Well, that's that's what's interesting is while they're doing that, Ellington and I have been in the studio for the last two weeks straight, every day, pretty much. Just like kind of doing live drums, adding harmonies figuring out and harmonies, and like mm-hmm. just crafting the album like nonstop. Just for two weeks. I mean, like for a while so, now. Well, but writing heavy. wise, we started probably like in sep- like July oh. we, of last we year. Had a whole July, record. August, September it was yeah. kind of like the initial start of it. Okay, we had a whole record and we completely scrapped it. Really? Yeah. yeah because no, we, not completely. We kept "Let's Not Be Alone Tonight" and "Smile." Okay. Ooh, and we Two off great tracks. We were gonna be like, "Hey, well, well, maybe we'll put our EP on the record," and we were like, "No, let's just do a whole whole record. Let's wow. blank slate, right?" So we had these the single "Smile" and obviously "Let's Not Be Alone Tonight," which I'm on radio right now. Um, and then from there on, that's when we started working in the garage. Yeah. After we scrapped all the eleven since, songs we so had since January, the new songs. Right? Scary Ooh. move to scrap eleven songs that you've it already was, created. Honestly, it's one of the like one of the best decisions. best things I think we've ever done because yeah. these new songs are a million times better and we're way they more happy. Fit us. With How have you, know you I mean? evolved since those eleven songs to now? We'll check this out. Those eleven songs were submitted to us. Really? So not, the, not all. Not of all of them. them. Like we had co-writes on them. Yeah, yeah a lot of them co-writes, but yeah, it was you know, different. Yeah, it wasn't you. Yeah. So we wanted to be like. We've been a band for a long time. We yeah. kind of know what we're doing, and if not, we can figure it out. We're we're you professional, intelligent people. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah. And I think that was just a good decision for us, just for ourselves. Yeah, you know like what I mean? To wanted, make the music we, we want to listen to. We wanted to be the ones to craft it and write yeah. it. And it was kind of, yeah. It's actually I never thought of it that way, but it was kind of like a not not a slap in the face to ourselves, but it was just like you know 
you, you, we can do this ourselves, yeah. and we and we should because we're a band. I think like, that's a huge. Yeah. Not, I don't want to say a risk, but I think you, you kind of did take a little bit of a risk yeah. and believed in yourself. Yeah, because yeah, if it, if, yeah. if the if the record sucks, like it's our fault. Exactly. <laughs> right. You know Which what I mean? Previously, it's like, and, oh well, yeah, it's a team effort. Like, yeah, yeah but the, up, it's but. the it's a, a high risk, high reward kind of thing. Yeah. But that you know, you said to get the biscuit. You said team effort right there, and that's yeah. one of the one things I'm learning about you guys more and more, like as I get to know you, and especially during this interview, is that it really is a team effort. Mm. While you're doing Dancing with the Stars, and while yeah. you're shooting, they're working on music. Right. I mean, you guys can't do this without each other. Truly. Oh no way! Yeah, no, you're yeah, totally right. Yeah. It takes it wouldn't work the five of you a hundred percent at all times to get this yeah. stuff and even, done. And even yeah. when we're not like when we're not working, Rydell and Riker primarily are just answering emails. I feel like I doing yeah. Yeah. Emails like Rydell's yeah. like like we'll try beginning getting Rydell's song done and she's like i need to send this picture to this magazine right now or else i'm gonna get you know yeah, yeah. whatever that's, so I think that's stuff, she's just like speaking of i which, think that's part of the reason why rattle frocky and i were involved in most of the writing the yeah really yeah it's because they were they were taking care of like more like the business sort of stuff okay. while rocky ratliff and i would kind of like sit in the studio and write a lot wow really a team effort why do you guys think you work so well together is it because you are family probably it's part uh, of we the, live together there's too. no yeah you know, that makes sense there's no filter if you go into a session with someone else, there's always, no matter how much confidence you have, there's always like, oh, you don't know this guy very well, whatever mm -hmm. the case could be. We're all like as close as you can get with one another. The analogy is like, I'm not yeah, afraid to tell in. Rocky that melody sucks. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that's like, I don't that's like needed. That. Yeah, yeah, literally. That, it's like that was yeah. happening last night. I was like, this this second verse, like it has to do something. I was like, I'm just going to be completely honest. It's not working. Transparency <laughs> is key yeah. in creative situations, oh, yeah. isn't it? Totally. Yeah. That's why Kanye is so like, he, how many, he's got like 20 plus Grammys is because he doesn't settle for crappy stuff. He's like, I'm going to get the best shit I can. He's right. brutally honest about yeah. it. Yeah. And he doesn't give a shit who he hurts to get yeah. it done. Right. Exactly. That's why he wins. Yeah. Who do yeah. you look up to? Is there anybody on the radio right now or anybody that, you know, um, is doing doing the thing that you're looking up to? I, I love uh, Walk the Moon single. Yeah, this is oh, awesome. huge. And we, love it. we wrote a, a, sing, a song that could be a possible single on our record as well with those same guys, Captain really? Cuts, that wrote with Walk the Moon for that awesome. song. Awesome. And we think that's a really good song too. It's called All Night. Yeah. That'll be on the album? That'll yeah. be on the album. Very um, cool. It's a pretty cool song. I'll be yeah. Who else? I mean, actually. Taylor Swift's as a as a songwriting from yeah. a songwriting as aspect. As a marketing person. Yeah, Huge. like what she's doing, she's yeah. just she's being really smart with, yeah. with her music. She kinda does it all really well. Yeah. And like then, the whole package. And you listen to yeah. the production, how it like builds, like we were just we just realized that like the last yeah. couple of days, we're like, wow, like, oh my gosh, it does a lot of stuff. It sounds like it's not doing much, <laughs> but she's adding these like like really underlying, yeah. you know. It's as subtle as an acoustic like, guitar. Oh my gosh, yeah. it's like a perfect arrangement. But you learn see, it's weird because you guys listen to music the way I listen to other radio shows, right? Or other radio personalities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Subtle things that they do, right. you can then pick up uh -huh. and make it your own. You're right. not taking anything from anyone. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, not, it's completely original because it's coming out of you. Yeah. It's your interpretation oh, really. yeah, you're right. of those then subtle you're, moves. Yeah. Right. Like, down to the kind of formatics and the way they do something. Like, for instance, when Howard Stern interviews somebody, nobody who's just an average person listening would pick up the fact that he repeats the name of the person that he's interviewing, you know, uh, in a 10-minute period, probably about four times. Right. Because in that 10-minute period, new people are tuning in, so they want to know who they're listening to. Right. right. You know, it's like, it's subtle That's things smart. like that that when you you guys listen to music or when I listen to the radio I pick up I study I right. learn and I take it and I ingest it yeah and I put it out for sure it's pretty cool it is crazy it's cool yeah it, it's, it's interesting I, you guys have evolved like insane I know, we feel like we've evolved we, we, yeah. we, we have like yeah. this Definitely. whole record kind of evolved us as a band really yeah, yeah. really mm -hmm. yeah Dude, I yeah, can't tell you how many times I can't tell you how many times I go to Riker and I be like bro I can write like this record like like I can do it right would, <laughs> <Riker, laughs> would always be like Ross have you written a song like write it how like, many go, times start, did I, how working. many times did I tell you guys let's write like yeah. I would we would well, always have these ideas on the road and it'd be like a verse and a chorus, and then we never bro, finish it. I was there with you. I, yeah, but about? I'm Dude, saying I constantly me, was trying to get you. Well, guys me through. as an outsider, I'm like I knew they had it in them because I wrote all the songs when we were like just starting out, 14, like yeah, little yeah, they were awesome, little you <laughs> know, <laughs> kid <laughs> songs. Awesome. There was one called for, Fairy Tale for Land. the time. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but I awesome. knew they had it in them. I'm like, just f you have to finish something. Yeah. Like, good yeah. lord. I, and they I finally can't tell you how many songs I started though. I started yeah, like, and I never showed them because I was always, I always was like timid about it for some dude, reason. If where, you, do you, yeah. where, where do you keep oh. your ideas? It's just in my phone. Well, yeah. really? That, yeah. That's your if best you, friend. Dude, if you sure. always No, sure, if you uh, search, memory. if you go on the, the house computer and like just click on like, because I label 
like these different ideas just by numbers. You click on a couple, you'll be like, what the hell is this? Like, this is the worst thing <laughs> I've ever heard. Because <laughs> I'll be out there jamming, I'm like, that sucks, and then I just never tr do anything with it again, but it's still on the computer, so you guys should do that. You, you should look at some yeah, of the boards have that we have in the other room. We'll come up with ideas, and we'll get them like 20% done, uh -huh. and then they're done at 20%. You yeah, know what right, I mean? Right. Like, they're forever on the board that we see every day, yeah, and right. it's like, you know, if we only took a little bit more time, I think that could be something. Uh, maybe. Right, right. You know, like we're, we're it's always like on its way there. You're right, totally. right. It's just forever like yeah. stuck. Yeah. Yeah. That. yeah. How long do you, does it take you to get one song done on a good day? On a good day, we wrote Rydell's right song in like a day. Literally, That's but that awesome. was that was the fastest it's ever been. Right? Really? Yeah. Because me and Rydell, he came up with like the first like line, and then me and Rydell took it. Went downstairs, they worked on production, we came back with the first, and then we came back with the chorus later. And then the bridge was like the next day. Yeah. So yeah, it, it was it kinda quick. depends. It moved. But we Sorry. did but we did the end that part of the song started at eight PM and ended at like eleven PM. So wow. that part of the song only happened in like no, not eight PM. Earlier than that, but it, that part of the song only came together in like four hours. Yeah. Really. It's just quick. Yeah. But but then there's a, there's a song on the album that uh, that I started, you know, like eight months ago and we just finished it. But it, it wasn't yeah. like we spent eight months <laughs> we, every day. We were it's just like the bridge in the studio. Yeah, like, exactly. Last week. So we worked yeah. on it like, you know, in tight. little Dark side like spots here and yeah. there. But but like so. But it took like eight months. But it wasn't like we sat there for eight months and worked on it. So. And I feel like you get this question all the time. Has uh, do, do you get sick of each other? You have to sometimes. Um, no. Ross yeah. gets sick of us. Yeah, he's no. sick of us. <laughs> <laughs> no, we had a we had no. a little <laughs> of a dilemma <laughs> happening. I'm gonna be honest. Ross gets sick of us. The rest of us are like, Ross, what's wrong, man? Ross, bro, like, come on. It's okay. It's it's, no. it's a long. I feel like whatever. Ross is like me, and it's like the same <laughs> relationship in some way. Where it's like I just sometimes it's a great day. Yeah. And other days it's like it's like if you're you doing want... a really great job, but I just don't want to talk to you right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey man, I, everyone has their yeah, everyone has their stuff. you know their stuff going on, and you know I love these guys. I can never say it matter them for very long. But you know we all we all have our our days. And yeah, we'll I love you too, bro. Twelve hours. Yeah, all right. <laughs> well, guys, come on. I have reasons for it. Of I course. actually. Well, we'll, we'll, okay. we can talk we're, about this off. We're the just air. giving you a hard time. <laughs> I no, get you. No, Don't but worry. You know, if you spend too much time with anyone, you're going to have something to argue about. Yeah, yeah all the true. time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could go into that room right now and find 10 things to start a fight <laughs> <Yeah>. over. <laughs> exactly. Like, literally, it, li 10 things. Yeah. All right, I'm getting the wrap-up signal. All right. I love you guys. Love you, love you man. Too, you guys are the best. So R5, come back and perform. We will we play our song. Yeah, Mikasa is Sukasa. We will bring I, instruments next time. Which is French <laughs> for front door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Break one instrument for me. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll supply the guitar. Just Rikers, you Bass. No, you can't break my U bass. No, we're oh, just bring gonna bring that. Yes, <laughs> that'd be badass. I love it. That's what I use for all my acoustic I don't even, now. What is it's this like thing? A, it's, it's like a, a ukulele, ukulele bass. but it's a bass. What? So it's, it's, it's got these big, big fat rubber strings. It's oh, cool. it's amazing. That's badass. Awesome. Yeah, it's I like cool. that. It's called yeah. swag. Yeah, <laughs> it's called swag. R five. You uh, the movie. April 16th? You said? April 16th. And Fathom Events. Fathomevents.com is where you can get your tickets. It's only for one night, guys. One night. You gotta go. Go. Is it going to be available after that? Uh, like maybe Probably I'm, not. Uh, we're going to say know. no. We yeah. don't know. We're going to say no. Yeah. Okay. Get, get because, there. Because you, you need go. to get there. Okay. So say the website again. Fathomevents.com. And another cool uh, quick announcement. So if you pre-order our album on mm -hmm. r5rocks.com, you get a code that'll get you access to the tour tickets oh. earlier than everybody else. Oh, so you want that too? Yeah. yeah. So before they the tickets sell out, you can get you can get tickets. Let's hey guys, thanks for requesting our single to radio. By the yeah, way, yeah, yeah, keep doing Let's it. Let's not be alone tonight. Yeah. Bother, Woo. bother Zach and yeah. uh, make sure he, <laughs> make sure he keeps playing. It'd be like, just don't stop. <laughs> don't okay, stop. Okay, cool. All right, All right R five. You guys are the best. Zach, get in here. I can't get you off. Your hat's in the way, fool. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> <Too bad. laughs> awesome.